So this is a motorcycle starter relay. It's a 2002 VTX uh, 1800C, well, C2. Um, I retrofitted this starter relay. Uh, I don't really want to explain why, but it's just a starter relay. But what happens is uh, every once in a while, even with the factory relay, uh, the relay would get stuck closed and it would continue to crank. And one way you can make it stop is basically by removing these uh, nuts and opening the circuit. So what I want to do is install a kill switch, this one, where I can cut it off really easily. I installed one of these on my boat as well. So I just flip it up, that's on, that's off. So I'm gonna leave it on all the time. And when I wanna kill it, it's keep cranking, just turn it off. That'll solve the problem. And it works 99% of the time, but once in a while, it um, causes some problem. So that's how I'm gonna install it. So basically, this power is gonna come from the battery, go into this side of the relay, then this is the relay control. And on this one, I'm gonna take a wire from here to one end of this switch, and the other end, this wire is going to the other end of this switch. Uh, so it will have two switches in between. And if I really wanted to, I could eliminate all of this, and just hardwire this and make it a manual start. But I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep everything factory and still be able to turn this off. So, I'm gonna get started. So here is the wiring. That part comes in from the battery. Like I said, this is the relay control and it comes out after the relay. Then it goes into this kill switch. Normally you would want the kill switch before that relay, but I don't care. Um, it serves its purpose. As soon as you open the circuit, it doesn't matter where, which end you uh, open it from. It goes through there, this is the switch, and goes out through that way. So it goes in series, and uh, right now it's off, and you can try uh, to start it all you want, it's not gonna work. Turn it, and now it's on, and you are able to start it. So one other reason I put it on this bike is because this bike is going to be with the bags and the windshield and all the good stuff. Um, this bike is my long trip bike where I would go, um, I don't know, I'm trying to go around the country. And uh, when I get to the destination and leave it overnight, I will uh, turn the switch off. So not that someone's gonna try to steal it, even if they try, uh, most people don't have the kill switch in their bike. So they're not gonna be able to start this. And my normal driving bike is that one. It's a identical bike and that one does not have a kill switch because it doesn't need it and I don't care for it. And this is my local riding bike. It's never gonna stay overnight anywhere and I don't have to leave it outdoor or any of that. So this bike has now a kill switch so people can start the bike. They can push start it still, just so you know, but electrical start would not work. It's gonna kill the starter basically. And now I'm going to package this together and shove it in here and go from there and make sure it doesn't touch any of this ground. I'm gonna, uh, might put some hot glue or something to protect it, but overall, this is about it. So I just finished mounting it and uh, that's off. That means it's not gonna start anymore. Again, this kill switch is not to kill the battery. This is just to kill the electric starter and this is on and the way it's going to work is this is going to cover it all up and once i put it on there you're never going to notice it so if i ever have problem i'll just pop this open and turn that off oh,